Hi everyone, welcome to NPA Teaching. In this video, we are going to discuss the nth term of an arithmetic progression. Let us consider a situation in which you are applied for a job and got selected. You have been offered the job with a starting monthly salary of 10,000 rupees with an annual increment of 500. What would be your monthly salary after 10 years? To answer this, let us first see what is your monthly salary for the second year would be. It would be 10,000 plus 500 which is equal to 10,500. In the same way, we can find the monthly salary for the third year, fourth year and fifth years by adding 500 rupees to the salary of previous years. So in this example, we can observe that we are getting a list of numbers that is First year it is 10,000, second year it is 10,500, third year it is 11,000, uh, fourth year it is 11,500, then 13,000, 13,500 and so on. Of course these numbers are in arithmetic progression. Now you would be calculate this value by adding 500 rupees in each time to the salary of previous years to give the answer. Can we make this process is shorter? So the salary for the 10th year is the is equal to the salary of 9th year plus again it is 500. So salary of the 9th year which is equal to 10,000 plus 500 in 8 times plus 500 rupees. So it is equal to 10,000 plus 9 into the 9 times 500 rupees. So which is we can also write 10,000 plus 10 times that means 10 minus 1 which is 9 into 500 rupees that is 10,000 plus 4,500 which is equal to 14,500. So the 10th year salary is first year salary that is 10,000 plus n minus 1 that is 10 minus 1 into annual increment. So this example would give you some idea about how to write the 10th term, 15th term, 25th term or 30th term and more generally nth term of an arithmetic progression. Let us consider A1, A2, A3 up to AN are arithmetic progression whose first term is A1 which is A and the common difference is D. Then the second term that is A2 is equal to it is A1 plus D and we can rewrite it is equal to A plus we want to find the second term so it is 2 minus 1 into D. Similarly the third term is A3 which is equal to A2 plus the common difference that is D which is equal to A plus D plus D. So it is A plus 2D which is equal to we can rewrite it is A plus 3 minus 1 into D. So the nth term of the arithmetic progression that is a n which is equal to a plus n minus 1 into D. So the nth term of an arithmetic progression is equal to a plus n minus 1 into D. So therefore we can find the nth term of an arithmetic progression by using the formula which is equal to nth term of an arithmetic progression which is a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d where a n is the nth term a is the first term and n minus 1 is the term position and d is the common difference and this is called a general term of an arithmetic progression now we have a question that is find the 27th term of an arithmetic sequence that is the sequence is given that is 5 8 11 and 14 so here the first term of this series or sequence is 5 and the common difference which is the differences between two consecutive terms. So it is 8 minus 5 or it is 11 minus 8 or it is 14 minus 11. So the common difference is here is 3. So now we have a is equal to 5 and d is equal to 3. Then the nth term of an arithmetic progression is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. So we substitute the value of a and d on this equation. So we want to find, find out the 27th term. So 27th term is equal to 5 plus that is a 5 plus 
then n here it is 27 so 27 minus 1 into the common difference d is equal to 3 so 27th term is equal to 5 plus 26 into 3 which is equal to 5 plus 78 so 27th term is equal to 5 plus 78 is equal to 83 so 27th term is the 83 in this sequence now we have another question that is which term of an arithmetic progression that is 21, 18, 15 is minus 81. So here the first term that is a is equal to 21 and difference common difference d is equal to 18 minus 21 which is equal to minus 3. And we want to find the which term of an arithmetic progression is minus 81. So a n that is nth term is minus 81. And here we want to find out the value of n on the equation of nth term that is a plus n minus 1 into d. So as per this equation a n is equal to minus 81 equal to a which is 21 plus n minus 1 here n is not given and into d that is d is the minus 3. So minus 81 is equal to 21 minus 3 into n that is minus 3 n minus 1 into minus 3 which is equal to plus 3. So minus 81 is equal to 21 plus 3 that is 24 minus 3n. So minus 81 minus 24 which is equal to minus 105 is equal to minus 3n. So n is equal to minus 105 divided by minus 3 which is equal to 35. Therefore the 35th term of an arithmetic given arithmetic progression is minus 81. We have one more example that is determine the arithmetic progression whose third term is 5 and the seventh term is 9. See in this example the first term and the common difference d are not given. That means first term and common difference d is not given. So we want to find out the first term and the common difference d. So the third term is given that is equal to 5. So third term can be rewrite by using the nth term of an equation that is a plus n minus 1 into d. So a is not given so a plus n minus 1. So here it is third term so it is 3 minus 1 into d which is equal to 5. So this equation will become a plus 3 minus 1 that is 2 into d which is equal to 5. This is the first equation and similarly by using the seventh term of an arithmetic progression is 9 and this seventh term can also be rewrite in terms of nth term which is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. So here a is not given so a plus seventh term so it is 7 minus 1 into d is not given so it is into d which is equal to 9. So this equation will become a plus 7 minus 1 which is equal to 6 into d is equal to 9. So this is the equation second. So we have a two pair of linear equation that is equation 1 and equation 2. Equation 1 is equal to a plus 2d is equal to 5 and a plus 6d is equal to 9. Now this is the linear equation with two unknown that is a and d. We can eliminate the one variable by using the elimination method of solving the system of linear equation with the two variable. So here if you subtract one equation equation one two from one then this will become a and a will be cancelled 2d minus 6d which will become minus 4d which is equal to 5 minus 9 which is equal to minus 4. So minus 4d is equal to minus 4 so d is equal to minus 4 divided by minus 4 which is equal to 1. As we get d is equal to 1 then substitute the value of d on any one of the equation. For example, we are substituting on the equation 1. So it is a plus 2 into d. That is d is equal to 1. So 2 into 1 is equal to 5. So it will become a plus 2 into 1 is equal to 2 is equal to 5. So a is equal to 5 minus 2 which is equal to 3. So the first term of given arithmetic progression is 3. And with the common difference is 1. So we received a is equal to 3, d is equal to 1. Hence the required arithmetic progression is first term is 3, then plus d, it will become 4, then again plus d, it will become 5. So the arithmetic progression or this series or sequence will become 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and so on. Let me conclude 
we can find the nth term of an arithmetic progression or which term is this in a given series or if a and d are not given then how to find out a and d with given any two terms by using the formula of nth term in the upcoming video we will discuss the sum of n terms of an arithmetic progression have a nice day and see you in the next video thank you